uh, you know, I, I knew what they were doing, and then they have this constitutional amendment, and at the same time, they've appealed the uh, redistricting case to the United States Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, the, just keeping this redistricting buzz going is what was, uh, you know, what was happening there. And, um, uh, you know, it, it, yeah, it's frustrating, but they're, they're, what can I do about it? Mm -hmm. You know, well, now that I'm retired, um, <laughs> you know, I can be involved uh, with, uh, you know, uh, efforts to maybe pass another mm -hmm. constitutional amendment. And this time, the constitutional amendment uh, depoliticizes the uh, redistricting commission. Mm -hmm. There are would be no elected officials on the redistricting commission uh, in an ideal yes. format. <laughs> and other states have done it and done it successfully. And uh, you know, Arizona, um, Iowa, uh, Michigan come to mind. You know. Colorado, uh, California, you know, just a, a lot of, well, I was just trying to do the conservative <laughs> states, you know, just to make a point. Anyway. Um, I don't so, believe we're conservative, but go ahead. Yeah. I mean, no, no. I mean, Iowa, Arizona, come on. Uh, so anyway, um, you know, if they can do it, we can do it, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's going to take a constitutional amendment, mm -hmm. uh, which is a very complicated thing to get off the ground, very time consuming, very costly. And time will tell whether that happens. Um, but it's something that I'm spending time on now with a core group of uh, people. We're talking about it um, very seriously. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, networking uh, to a certain extent. And, and we're going to see where it goes. Because uh, even though here we are in 23, you know, early 23, you got to get cracking on it if it's going to be on the ballot in November. You got a lot of, of signatures to get. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to 